how can God be caring but allow evil, pain, and suffering in this world? That's coming up here on Pursuing the Savior. What is going on? My name is Archie and welcome to Pursuing the Savior. I'm a pastor and a writer and I have a passion for helping people understand the Bible, find a way back to God. And that's what this channel is all about. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and hit that little notification bell so you won't miss a thing. And if you're watching on Facebook, don't forget to like or follow our official Facebook page, Pursuing the Savior. Let's get started. What is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you care for him? So this verse, Psalm chapter 8 verse 4, it talks about God's genuine care for people. Ito yung totoong pag-ibig, yung totoong paggalinga ng Panginoon para sa mga tao. Pinapakita natin dito regardless sa kanilang mga pananampalataya, God cares about people. This psalm was written by King David at dito sa Psalm chapter 8, ang topic dito ay dito ay yung yung majestic name, yung dakilang pangalan ng Diyos at saka yung kanyang espesyal na atensyon na ibinibigay sa mga tao. Ipinapakita dito sa chapter na ito na ang creation o yung san sinukob, yung nilikha ng Diyos ay pruweba na merong isang lumikha ng lahat ng bagay na nagmamahal at nag-iingat dito. God is the creator of all things at inihanda niya ang lahat ng mga bagay na ito para sa ikasisiya ng tao. So when God created the mountains, when God created the seas, when God created the valleys, when God created human beings, ang, ang, kanyang, ang kanyang design, ang kanyang purpose ay para sumaya ka at para sumaya ako. He wants us to be happy. Now, before Jesus came to earth, very, very few people ang nagkaroon ng encounter sa Panginoon, leaving the rest of the world puzzled, confused, wondering, ano nga ba? Totoo bang may Diyos? At kung totoo siya, sino siya? At ano siya? At uh, ano yung purpose ko? but niya ako ginawa kung totoo nga siya yung gumawa sa akin? Out of the many misconceptions about God, I would like to talk to you about one thing na isang wrong belief, isang, isang misconception about God na pinaniniwalaan ng maraming tao which I think best describes our situation these days. Now, may mga tao, they are convinced that there is no way that a loving God would exist and at the same time fill this world with suffering. Looking at the world from, from human perspective, kapag tinitingnan natin ang mundo mula sa mga lente ng, ng tao, when we use human perspective to try to interpret things, it is so hard to reconcile the existence of a loving God, of an omnipotent God, in the reality of a world that is filled with evil, pain, and grief, and suffering. But the thing is, I am thankful. Kahit gaano ko kaliit, tinitignan ako ng Diyos na lumalang ng lahat ng bagay na ito at sinasabi niya sa akin, I care about you. That idea in itself, kung talagang pag-iisipan mo lang siya, if you are going to think about that deeply, sasabog ang isip mo. Because the fact of the matter is, who are you? Who am I to deserve such attention? to deserve such care, to deserve such concern. But I'll give you three things to ponder tonight. By the way, this message is called The God Who Cares. Number one, God loves us genuinely. 
kung kilala mo lang si Lord, you know that you will be thankful. Life in itself is a gift from God. And I, I don't think that we will be right here right now talking about these things kung hindi ito pinlano ng Diyos na tayo ay ipanganak at mabuhay sa mundong ito. Not only did God give us life, hindi lang niya tayo basta binigyan ng buhay, pero binigyan pa niya tayo ng isa pang amazing na regalo. You know what that is? It's called free will. Free will. Binigyan niya tayo ng kapasidad na mag para sa ating sarili. Binigyan niya tayo ng isip para piliin natin ang mga gusto nating piliin sa buhay. Life and free will are the two greatest gifts God has given mankind. This point says that God loves us genuinely. And He proved that within this context in two ways. He let you live. He gave you the gift of life. And number two, He gave you free will. You are free to choose whatever you want. And that is amazing. That is amazing. Number two, man chose to do things his way. Pinili ng tao na mamuhay ayon sa kanyang sariling kagustuhan. Ang intensyon ng Diyos nung likhain niya yung tao ay para ang tao ay mamuhay ng may kasaganahan at ng uh, kasama ang Diyos. So to live in prosperity and in fellowship with God every single day. Pero ang tao sabi niya, no, I know better. Mas alam ko. That's why, that's why he refused to be subjected to God's law. Sabi niya, hindi, mas alam ko Lord eh. Mas alam ko kung ano yung tama, kaya I will decide for myself. Naintindihan ni Solomon ang konseptong ito. Kaya sinabi niya doon sa Proverbs 16.25, There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. Sa tingin ng tao, tama itong bagay na to. Pero since hindi niya kinunsulta ang Diyos, lalakarin niya yan hanggang sa madiskubri niya sa dulo nito, kamatayan pala at kapahamakan. May choice tayo na paniwalaan ng Diyos at sundin ang Diyos. Pero... Tayong lahat guilty tayo dito. Pinili natin na suwayin ng Diyos at tayo ang nasunod sa mga buhay natin. Ito ang katotohanan. Pag pinili natin ang Diyos, mabubuhay tayo. Pero pag pinili natin ang ating mga sarili, mamamatay tayo. For the wages of sin is death. For all have sinned and fall short of God's glory. You and I followed our own paths. Namuhay tayo or posibleng namumuhay tayo sa labas ng kagustuhan ng Diyos. And because of that, we deserve nothing but God's anger. Kasi kabayaran ng kasalanan, sabi ng Bible, ay, ay kamatayan. And that's fair. Kaya pag si Lord, tinapon niya tayo sa impyerno, dahil di tayo nagsisi, di tayo sumampalataya kay Kristo, di tayo pwede magalit sa kanya. Kasi that's just right. Ang tao, these days, nakikilala lang ang Diyos, yung Diyos na nagbibigay, nagbibless, nagpapagaling, nagmamahal, totoo naman yun. Wala akong, wala akong kontra doon kasi totoo yun. But the point is, that's only a part of who God is. The Bible tells us that He is also a righteous judge. Siya ay isang, isang hukom na patas. Kaya siya yung, siya yung nag-set ng batas. Obligasyon natin sumunod. Ngayon, pag di tayo sumunod, syempre ipapataw niya yung kaparusahan. At kapag ginawa niya yun, magiging just siya. Magiging fair siya kasi yun ang tama. Now we're done with the bad news. Let's go to the good news. And here's the good news. God intervened and gave us hope. 
And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. Yung original Greek word dyan, word logos, big sabihin, siya yung salitang nagbibigay buhay. Became flesh, big sabihin, naging tao siya. Dwelt among us, big sabihin, he lived for 33 years with human beings. And we have seen his glory. Kasi nakita ni John, at saka ng ibang mga tao nung panahong yun, yung Dios in the flesh. They saw God in the flesh. He saw the glory of the only Son of the Father, who is full of grace and truth. Grace, ito yung biyaya ng Diyos na ibinibigay sa mga makasalanan na hindi nila deserve yung awa ng Diyos. Yun yung grace. And truth, ito yung katotohanan at ang katotohanan ito ay walang kapantay. Truth is the opposite of what is false. Truth matches with the facts. Truth is verified by reality. Naawa ang Diyos. That's why He sent Jesus. Diyos, ang sarap ng kanyang pwesto sa langit pero piniling bumaba sa lupa. Bakit? Because, balik tayo sa Psalm chapter 8 verse 4. Because, who am I that you are mindful of me? Who, what is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you care for him? Tatlong rason kung bakit ko sinasabing mahal ka ng Diyos. Unang-una, binigyan ka ng buhay. Pangalawa, binigyan ka niya ng free will. At pangatlo, binigay niya si Jesus sa iyo. And it can't get better than that. Nung dumating si Jesus sa mundo, the world was already in a big mess. Napakagulo na ng mundong ito. Yung mga, yung mga digmaan, kabi-kabila. Yung mga sakuna, kabi-kabila. Yung mga may sakit, kahit saan ka may magpunta, may sakit. Kaya nga napakasikat ni Lord nun eh. Kahit saan siya magpunta, nagpapagaling siya. And during that time, men and women were dying, just like today. The world has been in a mess since Adam and Eve broke the law. But the, the arrival of the Lord Jesus gave us hope. Ngayon, meron na tayong pag-asa. Dahil pinatunayan ni Heso Kristo na ang Diyos ay totoong nagmamahal at totoo siyang may malasakit sa atin. Ipinakita ng Panginoong Jesus that there is more to life. Meron pang igaganda ang buhay than mere existence. Meron pas mainam sa meron pang mas mainam sa buhay kaysa sa pagyaman no? kaya pagdami ng ari-arian. Meron pang mas maganda sa buhay kaysa sa paggaling mula sa karamdaman. Yes, you heard me right. Meron pang mas maganda kaysa sa tagumpay. Meron pang mas maganda kaysa sa masayang pamilya. And what is that? What is that? He died for you. Namatay siya para sa iyo. And, and, and I want you to understand that. His death on the cross gave you life. He's gonna give you a life in its fullest sense. Ibibigay niyo yung buhay na kahit sa panaginip, hindi mo ma-imagine. Isang buhay na punong-puno ng kapayapaan. Isang buhay na punong-puno ng, ng kaligayahan. And He wants you to be in His kingdom for all of eternity. Yun ang gusto niya. Pero ang tanong ko, yun ba ang gusto mo? Kasi kung hindi mo gusto yun, hindi naman niya ipipilit sa'yo. He's not gonna force Himself to you. Because again, ano yung second gift na binigay niya sa'yo? Free will. You'll have to choose. Piliin mo na magpailalim sa Kanya. Piliin mo na sumampalataya sa Kanya. Piliin mo na talikuran ng iyong mga kasalanan. Piliin mo na sundin si Kristo. Dahil doon sa kanyang sakripisyo doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo, alam natin ngayon, totoo ang Diyos at totoo siyang nagmamahal at ngayon nagbibigay siya ng buhay na walang hanggan. He is giving you an offer right now. Are you going to choose life? You have to believe in Jesus and follow Him. No ifs, no buts. Follow. Or, do you want to live life on your own? You can do, you can do so. It's fine. Hindi ka, pipiliin, hindi ka pipilitin ng Diyos. Pwede ka mabuhay sa paraang gusto mo. But you must face the consequences of your choice. You will be sent to hell and be there. Pay for your crimes and suffer the whole wrath of God 
throughout eternity. I pray that you make the right choice. And if you want more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our official Facebook page. And with that, my friend, I'll see you on the next one.